All right, I'm gonna do a little video. I got this the other day. Um, FAA is requiring them. We get an extension. It's supposed to be October 16th. I believe now it's March. Uh, don't quote me. It's probably March 16th. But uh, for those of you that didn't get yours, I got mine a few days ago. Um, And I'm gonna just show you a quick thing. It's getting dusk, I did this just for the lighting. So, it comes in this box, little magnetic lip here. Flip it open, excuse me. Flip it open inside. You'll see the place for the tag. Um, there's a little sticker alcohol swab instructions sticker the alcohol swab I already put that on so you know I guess you can put the stuff back in the box and inside it is a USB plug to charge it and then of course inside is the instructions but so a quick thing I'm not gonna fly it because it is dusk but you should see the lights so I stuck it on my DJI Enterprise and then my FPV DJI now I'm a recreational flyer, so I can put it at the same one on all my drones. I have a bunch of, I build drones, I have a couple octocopters, airplanes. I just fool around. So I left enough space. You can see it. It's right there. I got enough room to put all my attachments on the Enterprise. And then I can still take my drone or my the battery and uh, my battery fit in there no problem at all secure it so it slides in there and then that starts up you tap it twice you hold it and then I'm gonna show you something. Now I bring up. You can do a drone scanner if you want. And uh, you'll recognize it. I already have it in here. Down here at the bottom. So I touch it. It brings up all the information signal strength and also show that it's grounded because it it's not activated for flight but it shows the location where I'm at uh, it's would be my house you know. then, like I said I could put it on my FPV one if I want I think it's just a single touch to hold it. Oh, I just turned it off. And then once it's activated, you'll actually see, uh, if I bring up this part, it'll say over here uh, if it's not activated it'll say ground that it's not moving well it's still not moving but right now it's activated so it's gonna be if I wanted to I could take off and fly so this brings up that I'll go back 
and then I'll bring up drone tag because that's the app for this and Second. All right, I had to sign in, email and password. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to take off. I'm just showing. It'll be a little clearer at nighttime. But this is my position. Um, and it shows you all this. Of course, if I would take off, it would show me the height, miles per hour, the altitude, etc. Uh, I could zoom in if I wanted to. And locations here at Western New York. Uh, I believe you can hit these things here if you wanted to. Yeah, you can hit that, and then it'll bring up. Uh, battery, the Bluetooth, of course the firmware update, etc. And if I go back, I want to hit the satellite. Uh, this is the same thing. I guess I'm hitting it, whatever, just the top one brings up. I thought I was hitting the each individual, but you're just hitting the top and it brings it up. So. So you can do it here with the drone tag or uh, go over to the drone scanner. I apologize for my tablet. I got water on the top of it and now the top of it blinks. So it's not bad when it's in landscape mode because I can flip this in a bomb and you don't even see it. But it's what you get when you got toys and they're outside toys. So that's the same thing as you get up here, enable Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, preferences, help, about. Uh, like I said, you can zoom in. You go to the train if you want to do that. But most of your information on the tag is down here. And like I said, if I took off flying, uh, all this stuff would... Now I'm actually going to change this because this, since I'm a recreational, this isn't always going to be DGI Enterprise. I just did it for uh, reference to show that it's on my DGI Enterprise. Uh, I don't think that stuff would actually show up unless uh, uh, I was somewhere where I had to ask, you know, about flying. And given permission and then maybe whoever it is this, this stuff would show up um, but it's kind of nice that it doesn't show up <laughs> uh, it, but it does show that there's a drone in the vicinity so somebody will you know if they had this app uh, they're going to be able to tell that there's a drone flying and basically lock in where it's actually at you know so So that's really it. It's on my thing, it's flashing. And then I can move it over here to, does he give you two uh, of those, um, what do you call it? They're, lock, they're little locking tags, tabs, uh, almost like Velcro. So I got one on there and then I got one on my other drone right on the back of it. I always got my guard dog with me next, so he's always around for my flying. I used to have Logan, the golden retriever, but I had to say goodbye to him. 
He's up flying somewhere in heaven, I guess. But so, anyways, I got these two. These two are the ones I fly the most. Um, my other ones, at least I could put them on if I do fly them. Like I said, it's not required until after March 16th. So, I don't know. That's my little. video of how this works. Sorry about my thumb. So I'm going to close this up and have a good night.